Now the House of Representatives has unanimously agreed to reduce lawmakers' salaries by about 50% due to the country's economic hardship. The decision was made during Tanzania's suspended recession. Following a motion sponsored by the state Ibrahim Ishaka, the motion called for peaceful protest and the government's agreement, uh, engagement to address the issues. Deputy Speaker Ben uh, Kalu proposed a six-month salary reduction, but Pete, uh, Speaker Tajidin Abbas confirmed it is actually 600,000 naira. Speak to the people of Nigeria. Your crying is right. Your complaint of hardship is right. But is the solution found in carrying placard and lining the streets? Is the solution found in copying a country lesser than us? The references that are made today to Kenya and all the rest of them, they are smaller country to Nigeria. We are a giant of Africa. We must prefer solution that is better and sustainable and lasting. Appeals to the proponents of the proposed nationwide protest in Nigeria to consider a different path. The path of patience, dialogue, and collaboration to prioritize the line of peace and open channels of meaningful engagement yes. with the government. Mr. Speaker, the House is further aware that the challenges we face as a nation is not so unique to Nigeria. There are issues that countries across, across the globe grapple with on a daily basis. I want to appeal to those that are instigating this protest, because I believe there are people behind this protest. It's not that people are just doing it by themselves. And I think DSS has, a, has, a, has to work, must work hard to find if they can lay, at least be able to scout and get those people that are instigating or the leaders of these protests so that they can dialogue, we can dialogue with them. Let's talk to them. There is no any meaningful achievement in any world without peaceful coexistence. Our youth are exercising their fundamental human rights. But in the exercise of their fundamental human rights, there should be, as well, most of them to be circumspect. You can't destroy Nigeria. We must all come together to build a more formidable Nigeria. And to ask the government of the day to look into issues that have been driving so many agitations in this country. We can't just put palliative on it, Mr. Speaker. We've passed that stage in our nation. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.